Hey guys, and welcome to the video tutorial on installing Line 6 drivers and Monkey to your Vista machine. First thing is if you need to uninstall for any reason um, and you're troubleshooting, you can go to the Start menu, to Programs, the Line 6 folder, and Tools, and you'll find the Uninstaller. It does give you the option when you run it if you want to remove specific components, but generally you're uh, going to uninstall everything in one shot. It removes the drivers, Gearbox, Pod Farm, Line 6 Monkey, pretty much all Line 6 software. But once you've got that uninstalled, if you needed to do that, next thing is to go to line6.com so that you can download the drivers. I've already opened the page on our website, um, so you can go there and click Downloads. And once you get to the, the three product drop-downs, or the three uh, so, uh, download drop-downs, you'll go to your product. In my case, I have a Toneport UX2. And then select Drivers. And usually Vista is already selected, but if not, select it. And click Go. The first result is usually the most recent. Um, today, that's 3.4.3.8. Um, <coughs> to start the download, you're going to left-click Get Download. Um, if you haven't already logged in, which I have at the top here, um, you'll have it'll ask you to put in your username and password, and then it'll ask you to agree to this uh, software license agreement. Once you click Accept, it'll uh, ask you if you'd like to save the file. You do want to hit Save File. Um, <coughs> make sure that when you do hit Save, you know where it's saving to. Different br web browsers are set up in different ways. You can customize them. Basically, sometimes they can be set up to download to a specific directory. They can be downloaded uh, automatically to your desktop, or it'll tell you every time. You'll have to check how your browser is set up. Mine is set up automatically to download to the desktop, which I've already done. So when I click Save File, it'll just begin the download, and uh, it will be good to go on that. So if I minimize out my browser, you can see the installer file right here. Once you have the uh, installer downloaded, you can actually go back to the same page, go back to Download. So we'll start right from the beginning. Click the Downloads link. And this time for software, you'll select Line 6 Monkey. You don't really have to select a product because any compatible product uh, uses the same version of Monkey. So pretty much just select software, your operating system, Vista, and Go. And again, the first result is more than likely the latest. Today, that's version 1.30. Again, you'll click left-click Download Now. And then Save File, which once again, I've done that already. So I'll minimize the browser, and you'll see that right here as well. So once you have them downloaded, you can double click the driver installer. You'll want to start with that one first. Um, if you do get any kind of uh, security warnings that are asking you, would you like to continue? Should I continue to install? You can click yes, install, next, whatever you see on there. And that'll bring up the driver setup wizard. So once that starts, you'll click next. You basically just need to follow along with everything it's saying here. Um, has another software agreement. You'll click I agree and next. At this point, it's asking you if you have already connected the device that, you, the, uh, that you're trying to install, you want to have it disconnected. So just unplug it if it's already plugged in or turn it off if it's a pod device. Once you do, you can click next. This window is actually asking which specific drivers you'd like to install. If you have multiple devices, you'll want to select all the devices you have. Um, the actual complete install isn't that big, so you could just click all of them at once. Um, and as you can see, it's about 35 megabytes, usually not too big for a hard drive. So in our case, we have them all here. So I'm going to uh, click them all and click Next. The default location is in your program files line 6 folder. You can change that if you like, but uh, we just install to the default. And uh, this is, again, a mention of if you see any security warnings asking, do you want to install this? You click Yes, Next, Install, whatever you see. Um, to start the installer here, you just click the Install button. The progress bar, as you can see, it goes pretty quick. Uh, driver installs usually pretty quick. I have seen it happen uh, take a few minutes every now and again. But for the most part, it goes by just about like that. And again, it's showing you the same security window. Um, Really more important here is this is where you're going to actually plug in your USB cable, as you can see at the top. This is actually going to allow the driver software to be installed to the USB port that you're plugging in your device. So right now I'm plugging into my UX2. And depending on the setup again, um, in our version of uh, Vista, it does actually tell you it's installing the device driver 
And if it works, as you can see, it says uh, line six, tone port UX2 successfully installed. And that's exactly what you'd like to see. Um, and that just means the driver's installed. On my UX2, you'll see that it, once it sees the driver, you see the clip lights stop blinking. Um, on many of our other devices, like the UX1, guitar ports, you'll see a red light. If it doesn't see the driver and if it has installed properly, you'll see a green light. So as long as that's the case, you should be good to go. You can click Next and Finish. And the next thing you want to do is install Line 6 Monkey. Again, you're just going to double click the installer file. Any warnings you get, you're going to tell it to go ahead and install that you know you're installing Line 6 software. And once again, just follow along with the uh, installer uh, wizard. You got one more agreement. And uh, pretty much it's asking you the exact same set of questions with Monkey. You'll just follow along, install it by default. That one goes usually even quicker. And once that's complete, you're good to go. The last question it asks is if you don't already have a uh, shortcut, shortcut on your desktop, it'll add it for you. But if you don't want to add the shortcut or if you don't for any reason, it'll ask you if you'd like to run it after the installation. Or I just hit no. You can actually just go to your start menu, programs, line six, tools, and you'll see monkey right there. And that's pretty much all you need to do to install the drivers and line six monkey.